So let's talk about window splits in JetBrains IDEs in order to split the screen by half. We can use the following command called split right. And then to add another panel at the bottom, we can use command called split down. And then to be able to quickly jump around all these panels, I'm going to define keyboard shortcuts inside IDEAVMRC file. Of course, this can be done from within the IDE itself, where we can remap certain keys. But I prefer to do it inside IDEAVMRC. So in here, I'm going to add the following mapping. In this case, I'm going to use key combination Option or Alt J to move to the left panel. And then I'm going to add three additional such mappings to move to different sides. So for example, to move to the bottom panel, I'm going to use Option K. Then in order to go to the top panel, I'm going to use Option L. And finally, to go to the right panel, I'm gonna use Option Semicolon. And as you might have guessed, such notation where I have specified opening angle bracket and then capital A is responsible for key option or alt on Windows. And the other notation where I have used opening angle bracket capital C is responsible for the control key. So I'm basically redefining default Vim mappings to move around splits and assigning new ones. So instead of using mappings where control key should be pressed, I prefer to press option instead. And then I have basically assigned such keys to move around panels that I use to move around the file J, K, L and semicolon. So let's not forget to source this configuration file by pressing space C, S. And let's try it out these shortcuts. So now I'm gonna try to navigate around these splits by using option and motion keys. And as you can see, it is working. My cursor is jumping into different splits. So now, since we have defined mappings to move around splits, why don't we define additional mappings to quickly create additional splits, horizontal as well as vertical. So the first sequence of keys, which is leader WV, will be responsible for creating split to the right. And in my case, leader key is space key that we have defined previously. And by the way, such notation where I have used keyword action followed by command identifier, such notation is exclusively provided by idea vim plugin, which does not exist in usual vim. So basically each command in JetBrains IDEs has unique identifier and we can use those identifiers in order to assign keyboard shortcuts to certain actions. So the first mapping is responsible for creating split to the right. The second mapping, which is leader WH, is responsible for creating panel at the bottom. And also I'm gonna define a couple more mappings to easily remove splits. The sequence of keys leader WW will be used to remove certain splits. And finally, key combination leader WA will be used to close all inactive splits. Now after sourcing this configuration file once again, let's try newly defined keyboard shortcuts. For example, I need to quickly create panel to the right. And to do it, I can press space WV. And then to create split at the bottom, I can use space WH. H means horizontal and V means vertical. And to navigate around those splits, we can use motion keys with option key, option J to move to the left, option L to move to the top, option K to move to the bottom, and option semicolon to move to the right split. And then to quickly close additional splits, I'll use space WW. Once again, let's try to create a couple more splits by pressing option WH to create horizontal split. And then one more time, let's press space WV to create vertical split. And once we are done and we no longer need additional splits, we can press space WW to close them. 
or we can also use additional keyboard shortcut which is space w a to close all inactive splits and by the way those command identifiers we have used in these mappings they can be found in a repository called IntelliJ Action IDs. So here will be a huge list of action identifiers. Some of these identifiers we have already used, such as unsplit and unsplit all. And also there might be some cases when the same keyboard shortcut can be handled by the ID itself and by the ID of Vim plugin. So in order to tell an ID what should handle certain keyboard shortcut from this list, we can manually specify it from this drop-down, whether it should be handled by the ID itself or by the ID of Vim plugin. And then if there will be a need to manually assign the handler for a certain keyboard shortcut, we can do it anytime from here. This is it for this lesson, let's keep going in the next one.